Okay, I'm ready for you. I, this is just like conversation. So no yeah. So so starting off here in three by one formation, and with us running inside zone to the boundary, uh, and we're going to uh, keep our tackle solid on the back side of the zone play, and we're going to allow our our quarterback to read a second level defender uh, for our run pass option. Uh, in this look here with the safety spinning down, we are still going to read what we call C, A being the corner. B being the first linebacker inside, second level defender inside, C being the third level defender inside. Uh, we're going to block A with our number one. We're going to back out bubble with number two. And we're going to run a five yard hitch route with number three. And we're going to read C post snap. So if C expands to the stick, we'll hand the ball off. If C plays the run, we'll throw the stick. Yep. So here's an example of us. C expands, we hand ball off, running zone back across the board. You don't have to worry about the offensive line techniques, it's just pure. Yeah, I figured it was yeah. uh, no one cares about us. <laughs> so looking from the end zone though, so you can see our tackle will stay solid. We'll read C, which is this backer here in the box, and we'll zone across the board elsewhere. So what we do in our on our play call here, you can see it says Charger 1. And then what we actually do on the RPO, we put in parentheses. So if we hand the ball off, if we uh, throw a bubble, and so forth. Uh, here's a good clip here with, uh, again, 3 by one defense not set. And uh, C expands post-snap and we just hand the ball off. Not even set. Yeah, I mean, we're just, that's the UVA kick coming back. So we're excited about that. So we've ran this play two or three times this game and what we were finding was B here, second defender inside the corner, was uh, doing his best to creep to the stick route from number three. Yep. Uh, the safety was playing hard down onto the stick route. Um, so we have the ability then to change this play from a C read to a B read and reading him to throw a bubble or the stick play. B crowds the stick, we'll throw the screen out to one. Force them to tackle in space. Let me see that again, coach. The same is that the mm -hmm. same, same play here. So purely now a pass pass play, right. not a run pass option. And it becomes a pass pass option because he's taking a line by a line and he's taken away. Yeah, it, it could be two two reasons. It could be because B lines up over C. That's, that's the first reason. Okay. It could be because two plays before, we threw stick, and he's hitting us as we threw. Yeah. So or, or hitting us as we catch. So it could be reactionary to how they're playing post-snap uh, with a little bit of guesswork on our part, or it could be because pre-snap alignment, we see B playing inside tip on three. And now we can say, hey, hey, let's, 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 let's run that screen to, the, to number two and read that out rather than um, potentially handing the ball off. So nonverbal communication between the quarterback and that receiver to make yes. sure it's changed. Yes, that's a good way to put it. Um, again, our inside receivers are so tiny that we don't have a ton of... Uh, here's two clips right way back. So same thing here, A, B, C, read. So A, B, and C, all right. Uh, for us, we, we have a pretty good idea now with C tucked in the box, B head up on number two that our third receiver is uncovered, yeah, and it's, yeah. it's just it's stealing in that situation. So again, our, our tackle's out, we zone across the board, they're going to insert plus one, but they still got to cover down three. 
And for your, for your quarterback, again, try not to overcoach it. You yeah, to try not to overcoach it, but if he can play the run, throw the ball. Yeah. If he's going to have the ability to squat and play the pass, let's force him to insert on the run late uh, and hand the ball off. Uh, again, we can yearly decide to uh, err on one side or the other, dependent upon our personnel. Yeah. Uh, but typically, um, you know, we're gonna we're gonna hand the ball off unless they force us not to. So, um, same thing here. We get actually C blitzing. Yep. So C looks like he's on the line there. C is on the line. Um, again, we will still call him C as long as he doesn't have his hand in the ground. That's kind of his indicator. Yep. Uh, once C blitzes, and we know with the free on the opposite hash, we should be. Uh, basically aborting the fake and throwing the football. Just ball out. And quarterback does a good job finding his throwing window there to get the ball out. Now just to clarify, you don't call if his hand's on the ground, that becomes a first level read for the lineman. It's a run run read for you guys. Yeah, if not... his hand's in the ground he'll be he'll be considered a defensive lineman. Gotcha. Again, we won't so call it gonna... NC. We right. will always A B C based upon second level defenders. If a second level defender walks up Excellent. on the line of scrimmage, he's still a second level defender. Because gotcha. they can bail. Yeah. And obviously D line can too, That's but it's point. not uh, not less apt down the down. Yeah, drawn up for us already. Perfect. So we're good on that coach. Okay. Um, so the stick route and then we do have this is the Westfield game. So we do have the opportunity now. We've played, and we, we saw the rep last time where we threw the screen to two, where the corner was hard, he was hugging the stick route, and the safety was, was, was pretty hard down on the screen. Uh, we have the ability now to, to now fake the run, pump the screen, uh, and throw the ball over the top. So you'll see number one, stock and go. Safety's down or flat-footed, corner's hard. We just put the ball up over the top, so it's just a home run shot. We're gonna try to call it to keep people honest, or because they're trying to take it, take away what we're doing. So. Okay. 